he'll uh, discuss this afternoon and where he thinks the focus should be. Go ahead. Thank you. Two topics really quick. First on ethics waivers. The White House apparently had ethics restrictions that were preventing officials who work here from communicating with the unions they worked at previously, and they waived them for somebody at OMB and somebody at the Made in America office. Uh, and I'm curious why that happened. Well, first, since you gave me the opportunity, I will reiterate that uh, this administration uh, has the president signed an executive order requiring all appointees across the federal government to sign the most stringent ethics code ever adopted by any White House. So as you referred to, uh, in the narrowest circumstances when necessary and in the public's interest, the order authorizes agencies to grant limited waivers and consultation with White House counsel's office, including in the cases uh, you're citing. Uh, president, of course, has stood strong for unions throughout his career, and he's proud to have leading labor voices in the White House. And there are circumstances, very, very limited, where it is in the interests of uh, governing, in the interest of getting work done for the American people to issue these waivers. And then on the economy, so employment only rose by about 266,000 jobs in April out of 7.4 million or so job openings. How does the White House know that people are just choosing not to apply for jobs because the extra unemployment benefits are so good? Well, first, let me say that we have looked at the data, and Secretary Yellen referred to this on Friday, or talked about this on Friday. We don't see um, much evidence that the extra unemployment uh, insurance is a major driver in uh, people not rejoining the workforce. We actually see the data uh, and uh, our analysis shows that uh, lack of vaccination, the lower rate, which is why I referred to the data in the week that it was taken, it has an impact. Child care has an impact. Schools reopening has an impact. But there is also the need to pay a livable working wage. And that's one of the reasons the president will talk about that this afternoon. But as Bank of America economists who are cited in a Bloomberg story say, anybody making less than $32,000 a year is better off financially just taking the unemployment benefits. So is the White House creating an incentive just to stay home? Well, again, uh, the majority of economists uh, internally and ex externally of the White House don't feel that unemployment insurance, something that was done um, at a time where to help unemployed people get through a very difficult economic downturn during a pandemic, is a, dri is the, a major driver in, uh, in our unemployment data. That there are other factors, bigger factors, that were contributing, have been contributing to the numbers we saw on Friday. That's what we're working to address. Uh, and that's where we think our solution should be focused. And just last one really quick. The Commerce Secretary says the main reason that people are staying home is fear. How does the White House know that people are scared? What is that based on? Well, I think what she was referring to is the fact that there, were, there was a much lower vaccination rate just a month ago, and that uh, people are fearful about getting sick, they are fearful about whether they're going to have the conditions to be healthy, whether they can send their kids to a child care center, whether there is a child care center. So those are all factors that are consistent with uh, the examples and reasons I just provided. Uh, go ahead, Josh. You 